ladies and gentlemen and everyone watching today's video I just hope the Pokemon company has tuned into today's video because I honestly believe I have found the next hire I have found the next lead designer of all Pokemon cards because we are unboxing this white bubble mailer of doom that I reckon contains the best Pokemon custom cards of 2019. Alrighty, so pretty much inside of this package right here is a bunch of custom cards from a guy called Infernos Games or Pokemon Decal on Instagram. And oh my goodness, these cards always show up in my trending tab page or like they're always across the internet going viral because some of them are absolutely ridiculous. Like you've taken an original absolutely banging idea for a Pokemon card and you've made it your own, and holy smokes, they are sick. So I am so excited to show today's custom cards off. I don't think I've been this excited in a while. And sit back, relax, because this video is about to be an absolute banger. Oh, look, they're all in top loaders. All right, this is my man, Infernus Games. So I'm going to link him all down below. He's got a bunch of different websites like Etsy, YouTube, Instagram. Um, and you can purchase these cards as well, which is pretty cool. So that's him right there. And then I think we've got a full art card describing him best. Look at this. There we go. Infernos Games right there. Look at the absolute legend. He's got his logo as a necklace. Dragonite behind him. But are you ready for this? I don't think you even... The first card, guys. It's going to rock your socks right off. I promise. Look at this. The man has made a stained glass window Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle full art GX card. Oh. My. Goodness. I don't think Pokemon's even thought about making another stained glass window card besides the birds. But this man's gone, you know what? Let's take the three most popular starters, the original, and make it its own stained glass window card. Oh, mama, this is so sick. And trust me, this is just a bit of a taste of what's coming in today's video, guys. Like, oh my goodness. I am in love. How well done is this? If you need to pause the video, I totally understand. I mean, this might drag on a little bit because I'm just obsessed with this sort of stuff. But, yo, when I saw this, I was like, yep, he's won at life. Literally, you don't get better than this, guys. This is insane. So, yeah, stained glass window starters right there. But let's keep it moving. Let's put you uh, to the side right there. Then we've got a vintage 8-bit Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise GX Tag Team Fuller as well. Bit Breaker and Kanto Spirit as the attacks down there. How genius is that? Dude, and the shine on these cards is ridiculous. Like, he's printed them so high quality. I absolutely love it. Okay, you guys have to tell me at the end, though, which one was your favorite. I know, it's going to be tough to... Oh, no, check out the next one. I apologize. I could... Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm literally so excited. So the next one right here is the, oh yeah, 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 I've seen this one. The brand new Meowth V card. But it gets better than this because this is a Meowth V card, right? He's a massive Pokemon when he's Gigantamaxed. Look at that. The card is literally jumbo sized. So this right here is that Gigantamax Meowth V card when it's put together out of the top loaders. I think it looks absolutely ridiculous. I don't know, I'm such a fan of it. It turned out so well. It doesn't look the best like even on camera, but it actually shines in the light as well, which is so cool. But it pretty much joins up seamlessly and it's so like well thought out. I love the idea. V card split into two because it's a long boy. It's a Gigantamax Meowth, but that's fantastic. I love it. Like, yeah, putting it on the ground was the only way to show you guys, because look at this. We've got Gold Rush with 150 down here. Look at the shiny decal right there. And then, on the front, this absolutely perfect representation of exactly what a V-card's going to look like, right? Just with no bottom edge, because it joins onto there. But, Payday with 40+. plus. Oh, that is so sick. Okay, Meowth V-card right there, Gigantamaxed version. So it's two. It's kind of taking like that hot gold, soul silver era style stuff. <gasps> oh, what is this? Look at this. Look at this. Mima GX. What on absolute planet Earth is a Mima GX? It's like a custom uh, Gengar infused Mr. Mime. Dude, that is wild and terrifying at the same time. Almost like a bit of a Halloween -y vibe. So we got Mima GX and then check this one out. Oh my goodness. No way. Look at the next one. Umbreon GX card right here. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? I love this hat. 
Reminds me of like the Mickey Mouse Fantasia sort of stuff. Ah, uh, it's amazing. All right, I gotta remind myself to keep going because not everyone loves Umbreon as much as me. Look at this. <gasps> Look at the way it glows. We've got a Nurse Chansey GX card right here. Oh, yo, that looks sick. Double Edge Healing Song GX as well. Band Aid, you know, the pills. This is ridiculous. Oh, far out. I have to make my own binder for this man. What do we got here? Oh, it's Corvic Knight GX. Would have thought Corvic Knight actually would have a V card, but you know what? Let's chuck him in. Oh, no way. The next one's going to blow your mind too. Corvic Knight GX, Steel Wing and Judgment Day. Dude, the camera doesn't even do this justice. The way it like glows on the outline here, smoky purple. Oh, that is so nuts. I love it. Very dark and menacing Pokemon, but that's exactly what Corvic Knight is. Judgment Day GX. All right. No, oh, look, 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 look. I spoiled it. Look at this. Surfetched regular GX and Rainbow Rare version. This was a smash hit. It went viral all over the internet. But we got a Surfetched GX card right there. Leak Stab and Fighting Spirit GX. Oh, yo. Dude, I, I, I'm, oh, I'm lost for words. This is fantastic. GX, Surfetched, and then Surfetched Rainbow Rare GX. I haven't seen one of his custom Rainbow Rares. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, besides it not having texture, you couldn't really tell the difference. I guess on camera, like, it's a bit hard. Oh, yo. I guess this is my first ever Rainbow Rare Surfetched, to be honest, right now. That is killer, and I love the way it's etched in there too. So what do we got here? Oh my goodness, I thought this was Mr. Krabs to start with, but another brand new V card right here. Oh my goodness, my first ever unlisted Leaf V card as well. But dude, I'm gonna take a brand new V card any day of the week, because look what comes next. Shiny, oh! Okay, I gotta, I gotta learn to calm down. Mew Shiny GX right there, absolute banger. Taking, um, it, I, I don't know how to put it. It's like taking inspiration from that Shining Charizard and Hidden Fates, I guess. But, Shiny Mew version. But that's probably the, you know, <laughs> that's probably the bottom tier version of this card. Wait till you see what he's doing with this sort of artwork, right? He goes in one opposite with this regular Shiny Charizard GX Full Art. Shiny card, I guess, out of Hidden Fates. Holy... This is insane. Guys, I love these sorts of custom cards. And I told you, Pokemon Company, if you're watching this, I don't think it's just him, actually. I think some of these aren't like him. Some of these are from different artists. But if you go to his website, go to his Instagram, whatever, I'm sure you'll be able to find out who makes these because, gee, flipping weird. This is insane. Wing Attack, Crimson Storm, and Raging Out GX. They're all bangers. If I had to pick one, like, that would be such a difficult task. So we got Dialga GX as well. This is pretty nice. Metal Claw, Power Blast, Time Warp. Not too shabby. I'm not a huge Dialga fan, um, because I got Palkia back in the day, but I still respect a shiny Dialga when you see one. There's, like, Giratina right here. Look at that yellow! Looks like he's mixed with a Raikou a bit, doesn't it? Full-blown, shiny, full of Giratina GX card right there. Put you to the side as well. Love those blue wings. And then a full art version of the original Charizard. He had to do it to them, didn't he? He's like, you know what? Basic Charizard's, yeah, it's pretty lame now. Let's make a full art version. Everything is pretty much the same. He's just extended the art all through the cards. The attacks are the same, you know, the Charizard. It's all pretty similar. Just a bigger version. And I think he's done the exact same thing. So we take the regular basic Charizard here. Then he's just popped it on with a Blast Toys as well. Oh, if you're obsessed with the base set, I feel like you're going to love these cards. I know a couple people that just exclusively, like, you know, mess with the base set, right? So when you see those, that might be your avenue for custom cards, because a lot of people don't like these new GX ones. What on earth is that? This is like a reimagined GX card. Because it's a Venusaur, right? Yeah, the artwork's weird, but I don't think that's the weird part about this. For me, the weird part is the attacks are up the top, not down the bottom, because the artwork's on the bottom. So is this technically a GEX card, or is it technically a full art card, or is it somewhere in the middle? Because the artwork's on the bottom. I don't know what it would be called. Upside down? XG card? 
Put you to the side, Venusaur. Oh, this is sick! Mimikyu and Psyduck, but like Psyduck's wearing Mimikyu as a hat. Kind of weird, actually, but look at this. Oh my gosh! How can you tell me that's not actually a Pokemon card, guys? Secret power, surprise party. Oh, yo, Psyduck looks so cool. I love this. Mimikyu as well always makes such fantastic artwork on Pokemon cards. This is amazing. All right, put you to the side. What do we got here? Oh, wow. No way. Look, you've got to wait for the next one. Look at this. Mewtwo GX full of card broken out of the experimental tube in the background. All this art is so HD and seamless. It's so difficult for me to try and wrap my head around that these are fake. Gee, it's actually messing with me a bit. All right, here we go. Bell Buzz GX Full Art. What in West Virginia is this thing? It's an, it's an Electabuzz mixed with a Bell Sprout. That is fantastic. I mean, dude, he's even got like 3D texture in the background. Absolute banger. That is fantastic. You take a Pokemon that doesn't even exist and make a full art card that looks better than most of them nowadays. How sick is that? Then we're gonna look. Oh, look at this. Couple of legendary ones. This is really nice. Zapdos GX. A few Magnemites around the place, but Zapdos is still the center of attention. Thunder, Zap Cannon, Plasma Shock GX. Then we got Entei as well. Dude, oh, I keep seeing the next one. I'm like, yo, the next one's gonna be even crazier. So this one's an absolute staple. Reminds me of the movie a lot. Entei GX with the unknowns as well. Stock standard, pretty cool. Check this out. We've got a Magic Champ GX. Let's go, Champ. Let's go. Look at this. He's got the same shattered glass background as well. Texture on the hands. Oh, it's so sick. There is, there is no person that does something like this. Guys, what is going on? I don't need to say anything. Ultimate Flail. What what an attack is that? Splash smash? And then if you're thinking, well, and oh he's peaked. I don't need to watch the rest of the video. How about I give you just the rainbow rare version of it, you know? You thought the full art version's good? How about the rainbow rare version? Ah, oh, it's crazy. He's like drawing the texture on as well. Dude, look at this. This is actually terrifying. This is nightmare material. Oh my goodness. It's Hypegar. Which is like Hypno across with Gengar. So would it be Hypgar? I suppose it would be Hypgar, wouldn't it? Jeez, Night Stalker, Dark Mind, Hypno Blast. It's so scary, but the colours, I love the yellow mixed with the purple. Because it's like opposites, you know, what it should be. Then, of course, he goes and makes it a Rainbow Rare because everyone wants this in a Rainbow Rare. Look at the honker on that thing. Insane. All right, put you to the side as well. Oh, he's gone and done it, hasn't he? I didn't even think he was going to send these. Oh, I swear my man wasn't going to do this. Oh, no way. First edition. Go Look at this, you can see me. How you going, guys? First edition. Golden. Samazenta. What on earth have you done here? It's like a reflective gold. Then this is a matte finish, but that's all reflective gold too. This is like the next generation of gold cards, is to make a reflective nice gold. Not on a full uh, full blown texture, you know, like maybe, I don't know, one of these uh, crazy ones, like this right here. It would just be like this, just casual. But it keeps going actually, I did- Oh my, okay, okay, shush Ando, shush, shush, shush. Look at this. Golden Mewtwo. Love that artwork if you can even see it. Look at that. Crazy golden first edition Mewtwo. But my man has got a one up it once again by making a Mega Rayquaza Golden Full Art Card. Ascension GX, Dragon Blast, and Sky Guardian. And then he's gonna done it once more. What's the difference here? What? Oh my, oh my, the printing quality has just gone up again. This is a full silver version with like a golden border. Put you to the side as well. Then we've got, oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. I could unbox stuff like this every day, I tell you what, guys. Pikachu, all golden, but it's like an electric shock across the card. Holy, okay, agility, thunderbolt. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I don't, I don't believe you guys are even going to be able to pick out your favorite cards. It's going to be impossible, I know it. Look at this, King Mew. Dude, I love this. Royal Psybeam, first edition King Mew. Oh, that's a banger. That is a flat out smackarooski. And then he's gone, you know what? That's such a good card. I'm going to print it in full blown gold as well. And that's our last one. Dude, what is this? It's like a crinkled up alfoil or like, you know, sandwich wrapped its gold version. And ladies and gentlemen, I think, I think that pretty much wraps up today's absolutely crazy video from this crazy man right here, Infernos Games. This man, oh my, what was your favorite? I still believe it's one of the starters. This one right here has to be, like I've seen this everywhere on websites. Everyone loves this card. That's probably my favorite. But trying to pick a second and third, oh, that's going to be hard. That's for you guys in the comment section. Please, I'm going to leave li links for all of the stuff down in the description if you want to buy cards, check them out. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. Definitely demolish the like button if you love these cards. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you tomorrow, guys. But you may just want to watch this video again. I totally understand. Until next time, I'll see you then. Alright, guys, keep on gaming.